Hello and welcome to Solar for Nonprofits, Winning Proposals with Energy Toolbase and Collective Sun. We are, my name is Lindsay Harmon. I'm the marketing manager with Collective Sun. We are so excited to see you here today, um, either this morning or this afternoon. Um, thank you so much to everyone for taking the time out of your day to join us. We are thrilled to have you. I am I'm pleased to introduce you to our two panelists for today. We have Matt Brennan, who's our Vice President of Sales for Collective Sun, and Matt Chimo, Western Regional Manager for Energy Toolbase. Um, at this time, I'm going to step back and let Matt take over, Matt Brennan. Um, just to let you know, um, please stay tuned till the very end of the webinar. We have a special offer from Energy Toolbase, so you'll definitely want to stick around for that, as well as our questions and answers. Um, please continue to add questions to our Q&A. Um, we are happy to answer them throughout the presentation. We will definitely get to them at the end of the webinar too. So thank you so much for being here. We look forward to talking to you. But uh, thanks, Lindsay, for setting that up and uh, kind of kicking us off. Thanks, Matt Gimo, for being available for this. Um, I see a lot of familiar names on this uh, webinar and some new ones, so that's great too. And uh, you know, this will be a bit of a review for everybody, but with some new information as well, because we've created some custom incentives um, so you can use our solar power agreement, which makes it really convenient to do proposals in energy tool base. And, uh, you know, we're big fans of energy tool base. We've, we've used it for years. We're one of the early subscribers and um, it works well. So the agenda for today is I'm gonna do a little background on Collective Sun. Of course, that'll be a review for, um, for a lot of people. But uh, for the new ones, you'll learn a bit about us. And then I'll, I'll walk you through kind of what our key offer is, and that's our solar power agreement. That's our, um, our prepaid service contract. I'm gonna talk about that a bit. And then I'll hand it back to, over to Matt uh, Chimo at Energy Tool Base. He's gonna tell you a little, about, a little bit about ETV, as we call him. And uh, then he's gonna walk through uh, a proposal, how to use it and how to use our custom incentives. So we really wanna zero in on that. So that when you're talking with nonprofits, and um, you know, you're presenting our solar power agreement, our SPA, that it's, you know, it's seamless, it's easy, and you know how to do it. And basically all you do is need to request a, a, the custom incentive from your account manager, and we'll talk a little bit about that. And then we'll jump into some Q&A. So if you have some questions, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, we'll be monitoring that, and at the end, um, we'll answer all those questions. Uh, then we have a special offer, so stay tuned for that. So moving along. So a bit about Collective Sun, you know, we work with nonprofits and tax exempt entities um, of all types. And I'll talk a little bit about what I mean by tax exempt entities, but you know, literally an organization that is tax exempt, tax exempt. And there are lots of different kinds of these nonprofits. And uh, to date, we've worked across 18 states um, and over a hundred organizations have used our SBA. So what is a solar power agreement, an SPA? Now that's, that's a name that we, that we branded and came up with. Um, but for those of you who are familiar with prepaid uh, power purchase agreements, this will sound familiar. Now this is not a prepaid PPA, it's a prepaid service contract. It's similar to a prepaid lease. Um, but for, again, those of you familiar with a prepaid PPA, it's similar to that, we've, but we've stripped out the sale of kilowatt hours. We don't want to be in the business of selling kilowatt hours because it restricts where we can work uh, nationally. For example, um, in Los Angeles, LEDWP, Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, allows our, our SPA because it's structured as a lease or a service contract, but, it's, it's, it is, but they wouldn't allow it as a PPA. So we're, we're doing projects there and we're moving in uh, to North Carolina. We're almost at the finish line, we're, um, going through approval there. So soon we'll be with, um, be operating in North Carolina as well. And there'll probably be some questions about where we operate, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, but we, we really operate anywhere with third-party ownership is allowed. So a bit about the, the SBA. It's a 20-year agreement with an early termination at the end of the sixth year where ownership transfers back to the host at no cost. So 20-year agreement, which is funded up front, you know, it's paid out at milestone schedule at a milestone schedule, of course, but it's funded upfront. And the cost to do that 20-year agreement is 12% less 
than what the your EPC cost is. You know, I see a lot of contractors on there calling as a mix of a few nonprofits too. But the cost to do this is 88% of the total EPC cost, so the 12% discount that prepays for 20 years. And again, at the end of the sixth year, there's a transfer of ownership uh, back to the nonprofit at no cost. During this time, Collective Sun uh, owns, operates, and ma maintains the systems. So um, we're responsible for it. We also have a production guarantee to our customer as well. Um, a question that comes up a lot, uh, can we do storage? And we can, I'll give you some examples of that. Uh, and some roof costs may also apply. And I'll just mention briefly uh, on storage that uh, the thing you wanna think about on the storage is it has to be ITC compliant, investment tax credit compliant. Um, so what we wanna see is that only electrons from solar are charging the batteries then we can apply the full 12% discount. A big question that comes up moving on here is that where does the 88% come from? So Collective Sun is putting in 12%, but the host is responsible for the 88%. Where does that money come from? So over the years, we've got good at doing this piece. We call that the debt piece. You know, we're looking for, uh, you know, we're trying to uh, raise the debt to pay for that 88%. So, you know, the top seven, let's say, uh, options for doing this, collective, um, let's we'll just say collective PACE, but C-PACE loan. So uh, this PACE provides across the country. We have a great relationship with Greenworks Lending with a product called Collective PACE, where we raise the 88% and we put in the last 12%. Cash reserves, of course, if the host has cash reserves. You know, they've already raised money or they have the money. And we see a surprising amount of nonprofits that have cash reserves. Of course, donations which does fall under cash reserves. Mission aligned lenders. Um, let me give you an example of a mission aligned lender. Like Thrivent is a mission aligned lender. They, they uh, started off just lending to the Lutheran community and they're a billion dollar organization. And now they, they lend to all kinds of denominations. Um, so that would be a lender that is mission aligned. Traditional lenders, um, you know, we did a project recently with Bank of the West. Uh, I'll give you an example of a crowd lending project where we raised the investment for that 80, 88% from the actual community of the nonprofit. We've done that and we can do that nationwide. And I'll, I'll uh, last but not least, impact investors. We're currently working with uh, you know, a couple or a few uh, impact investors and a lead investor is a, um, a family foundation here in San Diego actually. So I'll talk a bit about that. So I'm gonna walk through a few examples then I'm gonna hand it back to Matt Chimo on Energy Toolbase. So here's our country club. Uh, in Merced, California. This was, they used our solar power agreement and the balance, the 88% came from Greenworks Lending as a C-PACE loan. So for those of you, a lot of people aren't familiar with this, but a lot of country clubs are organized um, as a social club and they're tax exempt. So they're a great, uh, there's a great opportunity here to work with country, country clubs. But just keep in mind, not all country clubs are structured as nonprofits. And the way they structure these country clubs is different than if you would structure a 501c3, by the way, you know, a, a church or a Salvation Army, but they're still tax exempt. So there's a one, one example of, you know, a tax exempt entity that may not come to mind, you know, right away. Uh, Sanford Burnham, um, it's a medical institute here. Uh, it's in La Jolla, it's right outside of San Diego. This was a collective sun SPA and cash reserves. They, this is a rooftop carport, and a significant storage project. Um, and the, the, the discount applies to all of it. A public school, get a lot of inquiries from private schools and public schools. Um, this was a, a good size project and it was one donor on the project uh, that put in 88%, I believe, put in our balance. Uh, this was one of the early projects we did. Um, and this had actually had a small storage component as well. Here's an example of a mission aligned lender, um, Thrivent Financial. Another church, and this was a traditional lender, Bank of the West. This is a, this was an interesting project and in that, you know, they learned about us and they were almost done with the project. They were near PTO. They hadn't uh, signed off on PTO. So we were, we were able to come in at the end before uh, they basically took ownership of the project and we were able to come in and apply tax, tax equity and uh, Bank of the West was great to work with on that. Uh, Oberlin Dance Company. 
This is one of our early projects in San Francisco, San Francisco in the background there. This was our solar power agreement and crowd lending combined. So the investors, um, the community of the nonprofit raised the investment uh, in the form of a loan to pay for the pay for part of this project. And last, lastly here is the Vista Community Clinic. Um, and this is in Southern California. This is our uh, a, a program we, we call Sun for All. It doesn't say it there, but it's called Sun for All, where we take our SBA, um, our tax equity, we combine it with a donation, and then we raise the balance from impact investors. This happened to the lead investor, or the, invest, the, old, the, the impact investor was the uh, BeQuest Foundation here in San Diego. And, that, and it was in a, a low interest alone. So the economics on this project were fantastic. Um, and we're seeing more and more of this. And it actually, an example we're gonna walk through, we're gonna include these, we're gonna include the Collective Sun SBA, we're gonna include a donation piece and a loan. Um, so you can see that you can have a somewhat complicated capital stack and still model it in uh, energy tool base. So a quick recap before I hand back to Matt, Matt Chima, Energy Toolbase. Lots of different kinds of nonprofits and tax exempt organizations. So you have schools, you have municipalities, you have you know the churches and communities of faith of all kinds. They're all tax exempt. And even a for-profit um, that doesn't have a tax appetite would qualify. And we always put in our 12% tax like credit to the customer. You know, it's a big project. We can talk about a little bit of a bigger discount. And we have lots of different ways of funding um, the remaining 88%. All right. Thank you, Mr. Brennan. All right. Well, uh, hello, everybody. My name is Matt Chimo. I'm the regional manager here at Energy Toolbase. Uh, thank you for everyone for joining today, taking time out of your day. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Energy Toolbase and what we do, we are a software company specializing in calculating the avoided cost analysis or savings of solar PV and energy storage opportunities, um, as well as providing the software to actually operate energy storage in the field. Um, we also work very closely with some of the top renewable energy financiers in the industry. Uh, so obviously today we're gonna to be discussing Collective Sun's nonprofit program and really just showing everybody how easy it is to model an energy tool base. And a little history behind our control capabilities um, in actually controlling the software um, of the energy storage deployed in the field. About a year ago, we underwent a merger with uh, Payson Systems. Um, so you can kind of see on the slide there. Um, they had a phenomenal uh, market share in the renewable energy industry as well as oil and gas. And with this merger, it allowed us to have the resources to undergo this new venture and really start driving the battery behavior in the field. So um, if you guys have any questions about that, please let us know. So from start to finish, just a quick little um, you know, excerpt here about energy tool base. We can help everybody on the line and anybody else just develop the project itself, get all your inputs ready to go. If we do have batteries present, we can include our Acumen EMS, that's the name of our controls. And then after those are deployed in the field, we will supply the ETB monitor, um, which is a phenomenal software to actually track in real time the performance of your system as deployed in the field. And here, just a quick slide here about our actual EMS or energy management system, um, you know, how we can optimize it case by case and for different markets all over the country. So the great thing about this too is working with Collective Sun, you're going to get a lot of opportunities out there. They have both solar PV and energy storage um, opportunities, and we can work with Collective Sun to get everything modeled and get the finances ready. And then our controls can help drive that um, behavior in the field. So we can work all over the country and uh, really pretty much any market all over the world as well. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we're gonna take a dive into the test case that we had built out to showcase Collective Sun's program. So what we have here is the test case that we had built. And we're gonna take a dive really quick here into our meter. So within Energy Toolbase, we're gonna to kind of model this out as if we have this opportunity already loaded and ready to go. And then we're gonna pop in Collective Sun's incentives and program. And then we're gonna look at the overall financials of this opportunity. Really quick overview of what we built here. We got an ALTOU rate tariff, uh, modeled this out of San Diego Gas and Electric out of California. Uh, we just happen to see a lot of programs and products coming out of there. Collective Sun has great traction in that market as well as all over the country. Um, but this can be applied anywhere you need to, right? So even though we're doing this out of California, we can apply this to any rate tariff, any utility, um, anywhere that you guys are working out of. 
and then taking a dive here into energy tool base. So once we kind of get the data loaded and ready to go, we got our utility and our rate tariff selected, we're gonna actually start building the proposal. And here we have a seven step progression. And here we're just gonna kind of breeze through these really quick. And then I'm gonna pass it to Mr. Brennan here on step three, so we can kind of pop in these collective song incentives. Uh, so step one is very simple. So when you guys are working within energy tool base and we're looking at modeling this collective sun program as well, in step one, always make sure that we're going to go down here and select nonprofit. Um, this nature of this program is specifically directed towards nonprofit organizations. So make sure that it is saying nonprofit there. The main thing down here at the bottom is when you work in different markets, you will have the opportunity to increase or decrease your electricity cost escalation rate. That's gonna be unique for every opportunity that you come across as it may vary per utility. So make sure you dial that in. Um, we're gonna move on to step two. And again, this is where we give, as Energy Toolbase gives our users the opportunity to showcase any rate switches. In this case, we're just gonna stick with the ALTOU, keep it nice and simple. And now we're gonna get into step three incentives. So what we're gonna showcase here, and I'm gonna pass this back to Matt in just a second, is just inputting the Collective Sun Solar Discount and uh, the Solar Grant. Um, and then when you work with your account managers at Energy Toolbase, uh, we'd be happy to drop these in your accounts and just let us know when you're ready to model and we will go ahead and make those active. So Mr. Brendan, I will pass it back to you. Thanks, Matt. So you'll enter in the information as we go here, but um, so for everybody, basically what we're trying to do here is just knock 12% off the total EPC cost. That's it. So it's, that's pretty simple, right? I mean, the math there is not, not that hard. Um, and we're going to make it a little bit more challenging though, because a lot of times, you know, we'll apply our 12% discount, but maybe there's a little bit of a buy down. You know, it doesn't happen all that often, but it's good to know that you can still do that. For example, sometimes someone, someone will have a small grant. So we've created these custom incentives that you can change. Um, to make them uh, really fit the, the projects you're working on. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna have a 12% discount, we're gonna have a small grant component as part of this capital stack, and we're also gonna assume that we have some um, storage. And I know everyone's not in California, but we're going to use a California um, storage incentive just to show you how, much, how flexible all of this is. So let's start with the 12% so, um, solar power discount, the 12%. And we've broken this out so that we do it on the solar side and on the storage side. And the reason why we do it twice and we have a customer incentive for each is that it makes it much easier when you're looking at cash flows. It just makes us entire, it's a, the, pro, the proposal looks great when you do it this way. So our standard discount is 12%. So we put an example there. So at the, if it's a 12% discount, we would do 0.12 for that. And then let's say we had a grant. Now this is a, cost, a, a collective sun solar grant. This could be anything. Again, you can customize this to, and call it whatever you want. Well, let's say it's 5% of the project cost. So if we were to walk through that, we would just put in uh, 0.05. So these are gonna, you'll see in the proposal, these uh, buy downs will come right off the top. And we're gonna move to the uh, energy storage and do exactly the same. So we have two energy storage incentives Collect the sun battery storage discount, the SBA. So that would be 12%. Assuming, of course, that the storage is ITC compliant. And we can talk more about that. Feel free to call anytime. And let's say there was a grant, and that would apply to the total cost. And let's say it was 5%. We use the same number. Now, I will I want to mention this about the S chip rebate. Now, again, I realize not everybody in the calls in California, but you may be getting rebates similar to this. Um, you know, and where, where you're working. So in, in California, when you do uh, storage, you get a you, you do get a rebate. It's paid out every year uh, for a number of years. And whether or not uh, anyone monetizes the tax credit um, will determine what the what the incentive is. So if nobody takes the tax credit, it doesn't matter if they're a for profit or a non profit, or if a PPA is involved or a third party like us is involved. If nobody uses the tax credit, right now at the current step you would get a $350 per kilowatt hour rebate. That's step three. But since a, uh, somebody is using the tax credit, in this case, us, Collective Sun, you would actually get a, the host would get a $250 per rebate. So we're gonna choose that. And this is just to show you, you know, how flexible this can be and how easy it is to, you know, to do these projects. And I think that's it, Matt. You wanna chime in on that or? Yeah. 
Yeah, thank you. So really, uh, so one other thing too is just, we, we kind of take the, the stance that, you know, at Energy Toolbase, we're not by any means tax professionals. But if you do have these questions and you are developing, please definitely reach out to your account manager. We'll help any way we can. Um, but we do definitely leave it up to the developers just to make sure that, you know, certain customers will qualify for SGIP and any other incentives that you do select in these opportunities. But Matt, thank you so much. That was a great summary, great overview. And um, let's move on really quick. So we got the incentives loaded and ready to go. Um, let's just briefly kind of move through step four and step five, um, just kind of see what we have modeled for the solar and energy storage. And then we can kind of start wrapping things up here. On the solar side, we had built a 150 kilowatt um, DC rated uh, solar system. And the total project cost that we have right now for both PV and storage is $500,000. Um, so again, we have 150 kilowatt um, solar system. And then moving into the energy storage. So this is something I really um, am super excited to talk about. And this is a really big deal when we kind of branch out to, to new opportunities and new users kind of coming onto the software. Um, what we have in the energy storage portal here at step five is we have modeled the CPS America, um, the unit 125 kilowatt, 268 kWh uh, unit. So with CPS, right, this is one of our integrations, okay? So just kind of do a quick recap of what our integrations are. Um, when you log on to Energy Toolbase and you navigate through the software and you get to step five, you have a lot of options here that allows you to seamlessly and easily integrate energy storage into your project. So some of these names should be pretty familiar. We got STEM, Tesla. Uh, I modeled a project here with CPS. Uh, we got Delta, BYD, SunPower, SolarEdge. Um, big, big names in the industry. Now, the cool thing about this too is that if you uh, are going to be using CPS, Delta, or BYD, um, you will actually be using Energy Toolbase's controls to power the battery behavior. So what I mentioned earlier in the webinar here is that we are in the control game. So with these integrations, we have their hardware loaded in and it's going to be powered by our Acumen controls. Um, so I just want to kind of throw that out there. And in this opportunity, we have $126 blended savings for this battery, which is just phenomenally good. Um, so as you're developing these opportunities and you have these things come across, please reach out to your account manager. We're always happy to kind of put eyes on the project and make sure if you are considering a battery that we bring as much value to the table as possible. Um, so with that being said, we got our CPS battery modeled and ready to go. And now we're going to move on to transactions. So effectively, hey, how is my customer looking to pay for this? So we have some great options here, um, one of which is going to be provided by Collective Sun. So Matt, I will pass it back to you and we can load in your, um, your loan. Thanks, Matt. Uh, now this, when, you, when, you know, when Matt says, you know, load in our loan, um, again, this is gonna be customized. So if you go to another, le another lender and you, you say, you know, they, they've got a, you know, origination fee of 3%, a 5% interest rate, a 15 year loan term, you can change it to be that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use um, a, a CPACE loan, a typical CPACE loan for the example. So if, um, if you go ahead, Matt, and add a transaction. So we have, well, first of all, we just do the, the cash purchase because we always want to, a lot of times we want to do that, right? The, even if they don't have, you know, they say they don't have the cash reserves, I like to include a cash purchase option so they can see the difference. So, and the second one is just this custom loan. If you want to go ahead and add that, Matt. And on the side note, um, I'm sorry, Matt, when everyone's uh, kind of watching, uh, just make sure to reach out to your account managers. Again, we can get this loan uh, model just dropped in really quick. So it won't be there automatically. Just let your account manager know and we can put that in your accounts. So for the loan name, we'll use, again, this, all of this can be, this transaction completely customized. Let's call it it's the collective pace. There you go. Okay, so net project cost after upfront discount. So there's no real way yet to have a variable for this so that this does the math for us. So that's not possible. So we have to do just a bit of math. So when we did this project, uh, we said, well, we did 12% on a half a million dollar upfront cost, right? So that's $60,000 and then we assumed a grant of 5%. Um, so that's $60,000. That leaves us with a loan to raise, uh, you know, a, a debt of $415,000. See, we have to do a little bit of math here. So simple enough, so $415,000. So for origination fees, 
there are, you know, with any seed based loan, there's going to be transaction costs, origination fees, and depending on when you get the loan, um, you could actually have a payment holiday of a, of a full year where you're not making any payments. So what a lot of PACE providers do, um, that interest is accruing during that, during that payment holiday. So they kind of, they've capitalized that interest. So instead of, you know, having the, the, the customer make in, interest only payments, they just put it into the loan and, and they add it into there. So let's assume that that's what's happened is there's a, there's a payment holiday. So you get a year or so. So those origination fees with the capitalized interest could be, you know, $30,000 or so. So let's we'll just assume that. Upfront payment buy down, there isn't any in this case. That would be somebody if they came in and want to buy that loan down even further. And the interest rate, let's assume 6.2%. And then the loan term, you see a lot of 20 year loans for PACE. Do so we have both of our transactions there? And another way too, so once, after you load these in, um, this will give you a summary. Um, right here on this page. Also, we'll get a summary with this tab at the bottom. But what we're going to move to next is we're going to jump right into the document. So here we are going to see both of these two cash flows uh, kind of come to life here. And we're going to look at the project financials. So here we go. So we're in the document and we're just going to kind of move right on down looking at cash purchase first. Hey, you know, we've got the project cost here of 500, right? We're gonna get our collective stun discounts, you know, any kind of grant money, year one S chip. So cumulatively, right, maybe 384,000 might be coming out of pocket up front. But in this opportunity, like we just saw, we're gonna be making our money back year four, okay? We're gonna look to be cash flow positive. Looking at the pace loan, okay? So we have 6.2% interest for 20 years. Our monthly payment, 3240. Okay, as Matt has described, right, the total project cost is going to be $445,000. And here's our annual payments. Okay, so we have our Collective Sun discount. We got some grant money coming in, SGIP. So year one, we're going to be making in this opportunity $115,000 positive cash flow. So as we kind of move left to right, we got our payments at, we'll call it $39,000. Um, so we're going to be collecting another eleven five dollars from SGIP. California energy storage incentive. Plus, we're going to get bill savings, right? Because don't forget, our customer would still be eligible for a metric bill savings due to the performance of this project being deployed. Total cash flow, 58000 End of year one, right? Our net cost is positive $174,000. As you kind of move down the cash flow, we get kind of towards the end of the year of the loan at year 20. Our customer in this opportunity is going to make $1.4 million. And then once the loan expires and we get down to year 30, this opportunity shows a profit of over $3 million. So if you guys can get hooked up with the right loan, the right lender, good rates, um, this can be a very, very valuable opportunity, especially what Collective Sun brings to the table, um, not financing the full project cost, but a portion of it. So um, Mr. Brunnett, I'll pass it back to you if there's anything you'd like to add. There we go. Uh, I don't have anything to add. All that for just to say, I don't have anything to add. Uh, well done. Um, we'd love to see people activate these so that we can, you know, go through this with you um, and help you build these proposals. And you have account managers at ETB that will help you build them too and customize them. But um, I hope everyone, the point here was to show everyone that, you know, we have a custom incentive. It's very easy to use. Um, and really we're just, in most cases, we're just trying to knock 12% off. We don't have that little bit complicated of a capital stack where we are, you have a little bit of a grant, we have an SGIP rebate, you know, and then we have a loan on top of that. But I think this does a good example of showing everybody that, you know, no matter what you're working with, uh, with the funding, you know, we can build proposals to meet that. Um, and when you're looking for lenders on these projects, um, you know, over the years, we've got really good at helping source that 88%. So I hope, you know, hope folks will reach out, you know, give us the opportunity to try to match um, lenders um, with our tax equity. Um, I think now is time to sort of answer some questions. Now we've answered some of these um, live, but I think it's probably worth um, going through. We've got a number of questions on the 12% discount for 2021. We don't know yet you know, what the discount will be next year. Um, we're still working uh, on that with our investors. They haven't give us, given us guidance on that. Um, 
but as soon as we know, certainly we will uh, let everybody know and we're safe harboring as many projects as possible. Um, there's there's a few questions on that. Um, is there a cost for ETB integrations? Um, and if you're talking about, you know, doing these custom incentives and transactions, uh, actually, Matt, I'm kind of stepping in your territory, but I'll let you I'll add to that. But uh, I answered that on the Q&A in, in the window. But, you know, do a custom incentive or custom transaction. There is no cost to do that. But do you want to mention real quick, Matt, on the just a kind of a full-blown integration, how that looks like with the storage? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Matt, just like you mentioned, um, like, Putting in with the energy tool based subscription, right? You have unlimited, you know, document customization, unlimited incentives and transactions. It's all totally free. We will help you build those things. But looking at the actual integrations themselves, what I went through in step five, looking at the energy storage, there's no cost to any of our users to use those integrations. Um, the only cost to our customers is when they move forward and actually model and purchase an energy storage system. Um, and then moving forward, that's just a cost obviously passed to the customer. But yep, totally free. Great, thanks for that, Matt. Actually, actually, as a follow-up question uh, regarding energy tool base, I don't know if you, there's a question from uh, James regarding a vehicle to, uh, vehicle to grid. I mean, uh, yeah, vehicle to grid. You see that there? EV options such as managed charging. So yeah, you know, when we are modeling out these projects, um, our controls are very intelligent. We can absolutely, you know, customize and contail these based on the project that we're working on. So. Yeah, you know, when we move forward, we actually have these things. Energy, uh, energy efficient vehicles and electric vehicles are more dominant in the field now than ever. So we can absolutely accommodate, you know, charging, you know, your electric vehicles and simulate the increased, you know, load on, on the meter. So we can, we can definitely accommodate that, yes. Great, thanks for that, Matt. Um, is the so question about the, the solar power beam, is it contingent upon, you know, the off taker coming up with 80% of, of the project cost. Yes, I mean, they do, that funds needs to do, need to come from somewhere, but we have lots of uh, options for that. And the, actually the SPA it's, uh, is literally contingent upon the 80%. So if funding were to fall through before, you know, let's say we had a signed SPA and then a month later money fell through and we haven't issued notice to proceed, you know, the, the cancel, we would cancel the contract. So it's truly contingent upon that money. Um, what's the turnaround time to process a deal? Well, from our uh, you know standpoint, you know it's it's almost instantaneous. I mean, we and that was Neil. We can provide you with a form on our website. You know, it's not a published form, but we can give you if you reach out, we'll give you that link. Um, and it's just a form you fill it out, and it will automatically uh, email you a contract. So you'll have an execute, executable co co contract you know, as quickly as you can fill out the form. Um, now, if you're asking, you know, the deal turnaround time when a lender is involved. You know, lenders have their own timeline, right, for underwriting these projects and doing the due diligence. So it's usually 45 days for them to raise the 88% if they're going to do that. Um, question of, about government entities, sure. Yeah, we've worked with government, you know, meetings and government entities. Um, National Guard facility, someone asked, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, some other questions here. Um, you know, wh where are we working? You know, where's this financial financing model work? Well, it does work nationwide, but really the, the, the clearest answer is wherever third party ownership is allowed. So think, you know, places like North Carolina, which do re, uh, allow leases, we have to jump through some hoops. Um, but most utilities these days are allowing third party ownership. Um, so anywhere where that's allowed, we can work. Do we have a zero down options? Yes, we do. I mean, we have lots of options. So, I mean, we just have to combine it with a loan and we have lots of options for loans and that's a, a zero down option. Uh, question about Tennessee. I've actually had, you know, recent conversations about working in Tennessee. So I've answered that off um, through the Q&A, but I'd be happy to talk more about that, Carlos. Um, somebody asked about the cost of the system. I wasn't sure about if that was regarding cost of entry tool base or the cost of the minimum cost of the system um, for Collective Sun to use its tax equity or its solar power agreement. No, we, we really try not to do projects under $150,000. You know, if you're right on that, uh, or even 50 kilowatts, you know, if you're coming at $2 a watt with 50 kilowatts, we try to accommodate those systems, um, even if they're getting below $150,000. But if you give me a call um, or give Nicole a call or, or someone else here you talk, you're working with, we'll see if we can do it. Um, let's see here. Now, what percentage, what percentages uh, should we use for loan origination fees? 
um, it varies quite a bit on the lender. So if you have a lender, you basically, basically ask them, but, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me and I can kind of give you, um, uh, you know, some, some rough numbers. Someone asked about is the $10,000 grant. We actually had a six, I think we had a $25,000 grant in there, but, uh, no, that's not typical. You know, that the, really the, the point of that was just to show that if you have something in your capital stack like that, just an additional source of funds, that's easy to, to model that. Um, but you know, we don't, we don't have, um, not every project has the grant. Um, one other question for Sun for All, that's our impact investing uh, fund that we set up. That's really a um, San Diego, Southern California fund. We're talking with other uh, folks, other impact investors and family foundations uh, you know, across the country about setting up similar funds. So if you are in an area um, that you think should be of interest, pre please reach out. Uh, we'd be happy to talk to you about that. Um, you know, so a lot of these questions are about who qualifies and where. So really anybody who's a tax, doesn't have a tax appetite, whether or not they're a nonprofit, um, that's a good fit for us. And where, you know, anywhere where the utility allows uh, the leasing of solar equipment and third, or just, or third party ownership. If they, if that is the case where you are, then we can work there. How to finance that? Well, we're always putting in 12% at the, at the, at the moment. And then we have lots of options for borrowing the, the balance to make this a zero down option. So a lot of questions around how to finance it. Uh, also questions I didn't get to here, but you know, hardware requirements. Yes, we do have hardware requirements and we have on our website. Uh, if anybody is going to generate a solar power agreement anytime soon, um, we'll provide that link to you privately. And um, on there's an approved vendor list uh, for, for solar panels and inverters. And then on storage, it is still uh, you know, early stages and a bit of a case by case basis, but we do have hardware requirements. Uh, a couple of questions around uh, marketing materials. Yes, we have marketing materials we can provide to you and help you with, um, you know, help you close, the deal, close these sales. Um, and just a, a, a number of questions around the solar power agreement um, and just sort of basic questions, um, you know, around ownership. You know, we, we own it for six years and then the host, you know, has the option to get uh, ownership at the end of the six year for no cost. So um, at, once that happens, you know, O&M is their responsibility that came up a, a bit. And I already talked a little bit about the minimum project size, um, you know, 50 kilowatts, $150,000. Not we're really trying not to go below that too much. Um, just trying to look at a couple, a few more here. Um, you know, a little bit about, you know, what are the agreements? Well, we have a solar power agreement. That's the SBA, the prepaid lease we've discussed. Uh, that's between us and the host. And when we have a, a, a customized, I'm sorry, not customized, but a standard um, EPC contract, an installation contract between us um, and, the, and the contractor. And can the nonprofit lease the building? Sure, we need a little bit of a long-term lease, at least six years. Um, and we've, we've done that with quite a few nonprofits. Um, I think that's about it. Oh. How does a contract to become certified? That can, um, what we like to see, you know, we want some experience, um, obviously in commercial solar, um, at a minimum, uh, three, system, uh, three custom, I'm sorry, three commercial solar projects of 50 kilowatts or less in, in the last 12 years. Um, and also, um, question here about rebates. If somebody has a rebate, uh, you know, if let's say in your area, there's a state rebate, um, or utility rebate or some other kind of rebate that, you know, that we're not familiar with. All of those rebates go to the host, unless they want to assign them to a third party, to somebody else, but they generally don't come to collect the sum. Um, they're there for the, for the host to take. Um, just a couple more came in pretty quick here. So let me just see if I, didn't an if I can answer them real quick here. The question about case funding. Neil, feel free to reach out. I can talk to you more about PACE. Oh, community solar. Um, yeah, if, if James, you have a question about community solar, reach out. You know, it's really uh, talking about, you know, who's the off taker in community solar for us to do business with? And it seems to be a little bit different in different, case, different cases. So if you have a project, we can talk about that one uh, specifically. So, uh, let's see, Dr. Chapel, public school projects. 
you know, it's, it's all over the board. I have to say where did that, you're asking where that 88% comes from. Um, it's, it's been, uh, you know, d different in many cases. So I don't have a, a great uh, answer for that of just one sort of, you know, great way to get that 88%, but those projects are getting done. And I'd, I'd be happy to talk to you about that. And oh, here's a great question. Does the installer get their full bid price 100%? Absolutely. So we're putting in 12%, the 88% is coming from um, all the sources we discussed, but of course the uh, installer gets their, their made whole, they get their 100%. Now keep in mind, you know, we do have some requirements um, and I'm happy to discuss the, you know, some of the requirements we have, um, like a 20 year inverter warranty, a 10 year workmanship warranty with the contractor, a two, uh, well, we have a production guarantee with a um, contractor and uh, you know, some basic insurance requirements which in most cases the contractors already have. And if anyone reaches out to ask for the form to create a solar power agreement, there's a really clear list of those things, but um, you know, there shouldn't be anything on there that I don't, I don't think anybody will find unusual. Um, but you know, happy to discuss that with you. And I think that answers pretty much all the questions here. If I missed any, feel free to reach out. Our contact information is there. And to move on to the last slide, Matt, you want to talk a little bit about the special offer? Yeah. So for anybody out there kind of listening in, watching that is not currently an energy tool based user, um, you can sign up for a free trial at our website, energytoolbase.com. Um, and you will, at any time, you can get a two week free trial. So uh, one of the promotions we want to kind of push out, working with Collective Sun, and we've been working with these guys for a long time is um, if you guys subscribe to a free trial after the webinar, um, we're going to send out a follow-up email with a specific link to use. Um, you will get an extended free trial, so we'll give you 30 days to try out the software. You get all the capabilities of energy tool base. There's no limitations at all. Um, and this will give us a chance to work with you, develop some of these nonprofit opportunities, and connect you guys with Collective Sun, and uh, just see what we can kind of make happen and, and close you guys some deals. So we'll be sending out that link here um, after we part ways. And yeah, we look forward to working with everybody. And hopefully uh, anyone on here that's not a subscriber will subscribe and give it a shot. Thanks for that, Matt. Um, so two last things for all those still on. Uh, a couple of last minute questions came in. Um, will you help me introduce lenders to a nonprofit that says here? Yes, we will help. If, if you're a contractor or a nonprofit and you're looking for introductions to lenders, we absolutely will do that. We have another form for that, but uh, we'll help you with that. And we've had good luck with that. Um, and does Collective Sun add any fees? No. So we're putting in a 12% discount. Our fees, Collective Sun earns money from our tax equity investors. So we're not adding anything to the cost of the system. And again, you know, the, the installer gets the full 100%. I think that wraps us up. Please reach out with any questions. And if you are interested in adding these custom incentives and custom transactions, um, which you can change and use you know, for all of your projects, reach out to your account manager at NHG Toolbase and they can easily turn them on and show you, show you how to use them. Thank you everybody Thanks, for Lindsay. tuning in. Um, like both of the Matt said, we will be sending out an email coming from Collective Sun to you tomorrow with um, the complete video of this vi of this webinar, as well as the slides that you just saw and the special link to the special offer. So um, you'll be hearing from us soon. Thank you so much. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Lindsay. Thanks, everybody on the call. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.